Hey everyone, this is Terry Scooter Nguyen along with Alice Liang and we are checking out the next Xbox dashboard update coming in November. Here we are going to my Facebook account and there is someone updating their status right at your first tab. This is the second part to the uh, update that probably a uh, few people might have gotten into the beta for that's got, you know, the new avatar stuff. This is more of the social networking stuff with Facebook, Twitter, and all that stuff. This is Scooter typing on uh, the 360 controller keypad. Which I'm not very used to, so in fact, I make a mistake and there's a stupid status update right there. Here I am correcting myself after learning, after remembering that, wow, I can not type well on these things. That's why there's no punctuation. Yeah, it, it doesn't, the, the th 360 Facebook stuff doesn't actually have all the stuff you can do on Facebook um, on the PC, but I think it has most of the important stuff that I would like to use on the fly, you know, checking status updates, um, any kind of new photos. Photos are probably my favorite thing about Facebook. They're the only reason I'd use it over, like, say, a Twitter, for instance. And actually, I think photos on Xbox are a little bit cooler than on the PC because you can get into these Nice full screen slideshow mode, which we'll show momentarily. And now I'm about to comment on the picture that Cliffy, Cliff Blazinski of Epic posted. So you're going to see a little bit of the photo functionality right here. Boom, this is on the big screen. Yeah, and actually, it's pretty neat because you can uh, see the comments that are on the pictures. You can make your own comment, and then uh, if you press uh, X when you're looking at a photo, you can actually put it into slideshow mode for uh, any of your friends' photo albums and stuff like that. So you can, I guess, if you put, you know, upload your photos onto your computer, and then you can stream it onto your 360. If you have, you know, family over, you can check out your, you know, oh look, it's a baby, sh vacation. yeah, vacation, baby shower, whatever. Yeah. I can see, you know some non-gamers enjoying that and there's my comment about oh look i'm totally talking about my 360 posting and not about your actual car <laughs> on this photo i don't actually get i don't actually get what that photo is about <laughs> so apparently someone in his building has a similar lamborghini to his that's what he was talking about the arms race so now i'm going to go to my twitter account which i already logged in and you can see that right away there's those menu options and you get the last 50 tweets from your friends with your status update at the very top. I'm kind of curious if they're going to let you do like um, more than just this default blue Twitter background thing because uh, I would like to have the ability to customize some of that stuff. But um, yeah, I don't know. It might just be this default one. And right now I'm going to enter a Twitter update which is not at the moment not actually something you could do like from in game like the way uncharted does right now it's just a manual entry like me saying look i'm tweeting for my xbox and they've heard some comments from people asking if you can add like auto tweets from games like i've done this achievement da, 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 da. and they're that's under consideration but that won't be when this thing launches it is your basic twitter functionality of see what your friends have updated and then see you can update it yourself you now you can even do some basic things like checking out the trending topics or searching for a topic, which Alice is about to provide. Uh, yeah, this is actually the first uh, hashtag I could think of off the top of my head. It was based on a conversation that I had on uh, Twitter recently. So uh, disregard, this is a bold-faced lie. Dana is a great mom. But See, and over here I can then look in the tweet. I can then go to Alice's you know information about how I can... In his interface right here, I could reply, I could retweet her, I could look at her profile, or I could favorite her. And over here, this is where I could see like how many followers she has, all her updates. I can be mean and unfriend her, which I don't do until later. But that was and now we're gonna go to last FM. Yeah, this is probably um one of my one of the feature, the new features that I'm looking forward to. I don't usually use Last FM, but for people who do, you can link up your account here, and um, all of your preferences and things like that, your playlist will show up here as well. And if you change anything on 360, that'll also be beamed up. And when you log on on PC, it'll be the same. Um, but it, I'm pretty interested in using this at, like, say, a party or something like that, when you just want to have random music playing. If you don't want to make your own iPod, uh, you know, track list or anything. I mean, yeah, if you're a lot existing Last.fm user, you already see the elements that are in the Last.fm UI of the website, such as, you know, the little heart to say, that's a track you really like, skipping and like skipping tracks, and you get the same kind of photos that come with like a music playthrough, and you can even do the same tabbing through pictures and getting information about the band while listening to them. All the, pretty much all the functionality of the PC 
website in Xbox now. Yeah, the music cuts out here, but that's just for copyright reasons here. It, it actually, you can continue to play your songs while you're browsing. And you, using the bumpers, you can like go back and forward on the pictures that are shown there. You can uh, browse for new bands that are like the band that you're listening to. Or, you know, look at the different tags that people put for the you know genre tags or what have you. You know, right, right here is a, hmm, Arctic Monkeys. They sound interesting because they are similar to the Killers. I will then add them to my library. See, you could go through all your libraries, your save stations in your library. There's also coming up in a little bit your recommended stations based on your listening habits. You know, again, and even the popular stations like apparently everyone really likes the Beatles right now. I don't know why. <laughs> and even station tags are preserved as well. Yeah, and the 361 has this uh, specific gamer stations functionality where I guess they have video game soundtracks and whatnot finally the other big thing is the zune video marketplace which will allow for full hd as in 1080p streaming which we're about to kind of sample a little bit right now yeah actually our video here is um to be noted is only in 720p uh but when you do it on your 360 you can do it up to 1080p so you run this video through photoshop and resample it to get the experience no that won't work. Anyways, we are actually about to check out, you know, basic search functionality. Like we're searching for Harry Potter movies and boom, this is all the HD, all the Harry Potter movies available for rental or owning on your system. And the big thing that they like, they want to stress is that unlike the previous system where you had to actually download the movie first before watching, you can now do instant streaming. So in the moment you like hit buy and then can hit play, it'll start putting up right away. And prices, I believe, are supposed to be the same as what they are currently, if I understand correctly. And here we're going to browse through the video library. Uh, it's pretty interesting because um, based on your bandwidth, the uh, Zoom, I guess, video um, player will kind of gauge how much content they will uh, put through. So when, when you skip forward and stuff, you, you'll see like the the quality will be like standard definition. It'll slowly filter in to go build it back up to high definition. If you have like a cable connection that isn't you know a steady flow of bandwidth, whenever your bandwidth goes lower, it'll kind of like scale back the quality of the of the picture, and then when it comes back up, it'll scale the quality back up as well. So basically, the auto adjusting is kind of cool. So if you paid attention, you could watch how it went kind of from. YouTube blown up big quality to actually looks like a movie screen. This will be more clear in the Harry Potter sequence we're about to be showing. Actually, see, look, this looks like a bad YouTube. Oh, wait, no, not anymore. It actually looks like a real movie now. What happens now? Man, they are well, young. What moves first? Rick Grant is so adorable. Then? Let's play. Oh, we'll play. <laughs> My favorite part of this all, uh, besides Harry Potterness, is uh, the purple, purple buttons. I need this in the rest of my 360. And that is it for the new features coming out sometime next month. Date is to be confirmed, but hope you enjoy at least seeing what you're about to get next month.